So AML um, is associated with a variety of cytogenetic abnormalities, and uh, these are very clinically relevant. Um, and cytogenetics remains the single most important prognostic feature in um, determining or predicting um, outcomes, including relapse and survival in AML. And it still is a fundamental underpinning of our classification systems for AML. Um, so, for example, we recognize that there are so-called favorable risk cytogenetic abnormalities, including uh, the core binding factor leukemias, E21, translocations, and inversion 16s that we know with uh, conventional chemotherapy, induction consolidation, are associated with a fairly uh, favorable um, outcome and survival. And most of those patients do not require um, alginate stem cell transplantation. Um, on the other hand, there are other patients with uh, cytogenetic abnormalities, including complex karyotypes and monosomies that are associated with a very poor outcome with chemotherapy. We know that those patients need to be transplanted to have a reasonable chance of curing their diseases. Um, so these are really critically important um, things to know about in, in prognosticating and, and determining primarily whether these patients need transplants or not. Um, and then there's a larger group, about half of patients, that fall into a so-called intermediate risk cytogenetic category uh, where their uh, prognosis is intermediate between those other two groups. And uh, within those patients, um, molecular profiling plays a very important role. So looking for additional uh, mutations um, are very important in uh, evaluating prognosis and determining whether they um, are, are suitable candidates for a transplant. So things like NPM1 uh, or nucleophosmin mutations um, in the absence of FLT3 mutations confer a favorable prognosis approaching that of core binding factor leukemias and those patients usually don't need to be transplanted in first remission. On the other hand, there are unfavorable mutations such as FLT3 uh, ITD mutations that are associated with a very high relapse risk and those patients need to be transplanted. So within that intermediate risk category, mutational profiling has become increasingly important. Um, however, it's important uh, to recognize that uh, having mutational profiling does not remove the importance of cytogenetics because the presence of mutations or absence of mutations has to be interpreted properly in the context of the cytogenetic risk group. And the, the, the prognostic role of these mutations really depends on the cytogenetic risk group that you're in. So for example, you may have what you think is a favorable mutational profile, but if the cytogenetics are poor, they're still high risk. So th the bottom line is that cytogenetics remains very, a very important prognostic tool for our patients with AML, and I think will for the foreseeable future.